A very good afternoon from Bramall Lane, a real carnival atmosphere between both sets of supporters. The first time these two clubs have met in a Sheffield derby in the first division for 23 years. And it really is a momentous occasion. A mixed reception for the Owls there, here at Bramall Lane, 32,000 capacity and about 7,000 Wednesday fans really making themselves heard but dominated by Unitedites. And that's the reception for the home side, that's what confronts Wednesday. And there's the cop, you feel as though the roof may lift off. There are the Wednesdayites. It really is an amazing occasion. The first time these two clubs have met in 11 years. You can trace it right back to the Boxing Day Massacre. Sheffield United with only two wins under their belt this season. Really up against it this afternoon against high-flying Sheffield Wednesday. There's the lineup for United. Tracy and goal are back four of Pemberton, Cowan, Gale and Beasley. Gannon, Bradshaw and Hoyland in the midfield. Up front for United, Bryson Dean, Whitehouse overlapping on the left-hand side. Brian Dean back from glandular fever. What a boost this is to Sheffield United, psychologically as much as anything else. The man that's rated at 2.5 million, and the Blades fans are happy to have him back. A towering strength. Sheffield Wednesday, Woods in goal, Nielsen, King, Warhurst and Anderson at the back. Palmer, Wilson, Sheridan and Worthington in the midfield. Hurst and Williams up front. Carlton Palmer, the man that's forcing his way into the full England squad this season, went to Poland, of course, really making an impact. So we're all set for the high noon showdown. Referee Steve Lodge of Barnsley. About to OK it with both goalkeepers and the linesman. And really now, this is a test of nerves for both sides. Just about set. Sheffield Wednesday with the kickoff. Sheffield United kicking towards their own cop. Wednesday towards their away supporters. And we're underway. The first time in 11 years these two sides have met. Chris Woods receiving the ball from Vivian Anderson to Jeers from the Sheffield United cop. Woods 1.2 million from Glasgow Rangers. Surely he'll have a big test this afternoon. Gale, long clearance up towards Dean, great control, good first touch by Dean and a great ball threaded through for Ian Bryson, linking up there the two men that are expected to play a major part in the game this afternoon and Brian Dean looking very confident early on. Free kick for Wednesday is going to be taken by Phil King. Drives it left-footed up the middle. Beasley gets in the challenge, but there's Palmer out to Worthington. Worthington looking to feed Hurst, but Pemberton's first to the ball. Hurst doing well, though, to force a corner right in front of the Wednesdayites in the first minute of this match. So Wednesday clearly looking to make an impact very early on. Flying high in the first division, they're in fourth place. United at bottom. But of course the form book goes out of the window. Danny Wilson with the corner towards the far post. Hurst's up there causing trouble, it might drop for Palmer. Palmer forced wide, finds Sheridan though. Sheridan, good ball back in. Wilson struggling and in comes the challenge from Carl Bradshaw. Bradshaw played for both sides, Wednesday and United. But clearly his loyalties now lie in red and white. Phil King, another good cross back in towards the goal mouth. But it's gone astray and Dane Whitehouse clears the danger as far as United are concerned. Sheffield born lad there, good ball up the pitch. Paul Warhurst driving his players forward, another goal kick for Chris Woods, seen a lot of the ball early on. It's down the left hand side and Wednesday able to force a throw in there. Not a very good header from Tom Cowan, really a bargain buy from Rangers. He's so consistent this season, but one of the few errors he's made. 
Long throw down the right-hand side. Wednesday looking for possession there and getting it with Sheridan. Sheridan, strong challenge in from behind. Still gets the ball clear to Hurst, but free kick given by referee Steve Lodge. And Ian Bryson there, really fired up in the early stages. Just a little bit over robust early on. Referee having a word with him. Nothing malicious in it at all. Just a little bit of a late challenge. Free kick for Sheffield Wednesday. But Bryson really a man, £40,000 from Kilmarnock. Around that region, he has been an absolute steal. And he's expected to link up with Dean today. Free kick for Wednesday is going to be taken by Nielsen. Nielsen driven in. Hurst in the air. Does very well, but Pemberton temporarily clears it. Back into the danger zone by King. Sheffield born and United Ike Jamie Hoyland getting it clear. Bryson again with the challenge. This time he wins the free kick against Paul Warhurst. Takes it quickly, looks for Dean. Danger here, but Dean just caught offside. The United Ike's not happy with that decision. And I'm not convinced that Dean is as well. But he happily takes the ball to the position where he's a judge to have been caught offside. Dean early stages looking pretty good. And certainly there does seem to be a worry whether he can last with glandular fever. Of course, a very serious bout of it. He's recovered very well. He's back into the tense moment of a derby game with Sheffield Wednesday. The first 11 years. Roland Nielsen there, strong challenge, but Beasley diving in with a header for United. The ball spread out wide for Williams to chase. Williams, can he get there? No. Just forced wide and Tom Cowan's will get the ball back for Simon Tracy. Tracy, very deep kick up the middle. Dean climbing high, just loses out, but in goes Hoyland. And Bradshaw brought down by Phil King. And Sheridan walking over the ball there after the challenge. And Bradshaw not happy with that at all. And a bit of a flare-up in the early stages, but only to be expected. Such a tense moment, nerves on both sides. All 22 players extremely wound up. And just a few calming words there from Jamie Hoyland, born in Sheffield. United Ike through and through. Show is Bradshaw. Certainly he wasn't happy with that challenge from Sheridan. King brought him down initially, but if he looks on the bright side, this is a free kick, it's in front of the cop and it's only two or three yards outside the box. Whitehouse is there, number 11, he's got a real dig on him. Bradshaw takes his position behind the free kick as well, so in support of John Gannon now comes Jamie Hoyland, so four United shirts around the ball. It looks as though Ian Bryson's taken up his position in the wall. The referee demanding to see that it goes back ten yards. Whitehouse with a shot, good curler, and Woods equal to the danger. Fine save from him in front of the United Cop. Wasn't easy, but he got his body well in behind it. Woods kick. Well won there by United. And Dane Whitehouse just losing out to Nielsen. Nielsen quick to feed that ball down the right side. And Beasley putting it into touch. It's going to be another Wednesday throw. So very difficult to read anything into the early stages, very even indeed, but Sheridan might look to change that now. Good ball into the danger zone. Pemberton safe as houses. Back to goalkeeper Simon Tracy. Tracy, no hesitation at all getting the clearance. Warhurst winning it though. And now Carlton Palmer supported by Williams. Looking for more assistance on his left-hand side. Gets it from Worthington. Worthington tries to thread it back through to Palmer, but it was always too much for him there. And Simon Tracy, a wry smile from him as he tries to clear his lines. Sheridan, good challenge, controls it well. Veers to the left-hand side and tries to get Williams in on the action. But again, offside given. Tracy's way out of his area to take this free kick to United. It's deep into the Wednesday box, won by captain Viv Anderson. Hoyland, though, good ball out wide. Fine header to Cowan. Cowan finds Whitehouse. Whitehouse 
in sneaks Nielsen. Good challenge from him. Gets support from Williams. Williams clears his lines down the right-hand side. It's well taken by Hurst. Hurst looking to get on the blind side of Beasley. And I think Beasley just getting a hand to it there. The referee giving a free kick to Sheffield Wednesday. Certainly here they can cause problems from this range. Worthington straight in there. And it's a free kick midway inside the United half. Good opportunity here for Wednesday to make something of it. The number 11, Worthington's gone over to take it. And there's David Hurst, supported by Anderson, who's come up from the back. Worthington, it's to the far post, deep. Won by Brian Gale, good challenge there. Captain against captain, and Carlton Palmer's shot. Very wide there. And the Sheffield United fans having a little bit of a laugh about that. Palmer there, trying his luck from 20 yards but not the best of efforts. Good turn from Whitehouse, finds Bryson, good first touch, but then just running away from him, Sheridan quick to spot the danger, Nielsen in towards Palmer, Wilson, good play switch to King, left-hand side. King gives it away though, and here's Pemberton. Pemberton, Warhurst there, losing out to Brian Dean, Dean surging through the left-hand side, Bryson, Bryson's got Cowan outside him, doesn't need him, but his cross is disappointing, but Sheffield United haven't given up yet, or have they? In steps Hurst, but his pass as well going astray, and falling through to Simon Tracy, Tracy another long kick, Dean getting the flick on most times, that could be an important factor this afternoon, as Dane Whitehouse challenges Roland Nielsen, Whitehouse Sheffield born from the manor is Dane and certainly enjoying this afternoon to play against Sheffield Wednesday. Woods with the goal kick, it's a terrible one. Brian Dean nipping in there. Good return ball from Bradshaw. Dean moving out to the right, tries to get in the cross. Worthington intercepting it. And Phil King eventually blasting it forward, clearing the danger as far as Wednesday are concerned, because that wasn't a good goal kick from Chris Woods. Simon Tracy high into the Bramall Lane, Sky, another deep kick from him, Bradshaw, forcing a throw in for Sheffield United. No more than 10 yards inside the Wednesday touchline taken quickly by Pemberton squandered somewhat King and Worthington contriving to get it clear but clearly Worthington kicking Bradshaw after that had gone silly thing to do he'll pick up a booking for it and he can have no complaint at all referee Steve Lodge from Barnsley quick to see that silly thing to do yellow card for it Bradshaw's certainly been in on the action early on and it's now he will be again but Gannon takes the free kick far post Gale at the far post and Chris Woods having to make the first save of the match Brian Gale United's captain 700,000 pounds from Ipswich making an impact there good solid header from the cross of United's number four Gannon Gale climbing at the far post bit of pushing and shoving but Chris Woods just able to grasp it before Jamie Hoyland stepped in. Brian Gale with a header. Another disappointing clearance from Woods, having something of a nightmare so far. Bradshaw just getting in the challenge, but beaten by Carlton Palmer. Phil King, long raking pass down the left-hand side. Brian Gale getting it clear. Wednesday throwing inside the United half. Phil King with it, £400,000 from Swindon, signed by Ron Atkinson, but a pretty good purchase as well. Brian Dean there, dispossessed by Sheridan. Sheridan back for Anderson. Anderson, in goes the challenge from Bryson, but it runs through for Palmer. Palmer's going to try a shot. It comes back off the bar with Simon Tracy really struggling. That's the first effort of this match, and Wednesday haven't finished. Worthington back across the face of goal, and headed clear by Tom Cowan. 
But a great effort there from Carlton Palmer. Almost broke the deadlock in this match. It ran through for him. Looked pretty innocuous there from Viv Anderson. But on race Palmer and his shot crashing back off the woodwork. Throw in for Wednesday. Good time for them to strike maybe here. Gannon conceding the corner. So the Wednesday outs behind the United goal. Really looking here to support their side. We're trying to edge ahead in this tremendous match so far. That's the first big effort. Carlton Palmer a shot coming back off the bar. Worthington with the corner. And Williams almost got in the challenge. Hurst will now. And Anderson puts it away, but it's offside. No question about that. Anderson, Wednesday stand-in captain for Nigel Pearson. Thought he'd got the goal there, but offside given. Simon Tracy's goal kick flicked on by Bradshaw. Dean takes it on the chest, back for Bradshaw. Bradshaw forward down the right-hand side, but it's going nowhere except out for a Sheffield Wednesday goal kick. so far, Gannon beaten to the ball though, Carlton Palmer gets the knock on, Williams on the chase, shadowed by Beasley, and Beasley just getting the better of him there, it's going to be United throw-in, and Beasley in a hurry to take it, just hands it over to Tom Cowan, another consistent performance from Cowan, good long throw down the left-hand side, flicked on by Bryson, Bryson again, forward there for Whitehouse to chase, Whitehouse just runs out of pitch, Gale winning that header, totally unmarked there for Sheffield United. Long Chris Wood's goal kick helped on by Whitehouse. In goes Nielsen, now Hoyland. Hoyland looking for Dean. Dean free on the left-hand side. But just a second late. And Wednesday escape again. And Roland Nielsen will take the throw-in for them. But Dean clearly making a very good impact this afternoon. Looking extremely sharp for a man that's been suffering from glandular fever. There's Tom Cowan, up and under, Bryson, Palmer beating him to the ball though, and Sheridan turns in the midfield. Wilson, good ball back for Nielsen. Nielsen cross field, won by Bradshaw. King's pass going astray, won by Gale, there's Bradshaw. Looking for Dean, Bradshaw again, good strong challenge from him. Bradshaw surging through the middle, but here's Paul Warhurst. Warhurst forward for Hurst, Hurst over Beasley. Bit of a scramble there and Brian Gale feeling the full force of David Hurst's boot. And nothing intentional I don't think. Hurst just turning on the blind side. Not aware of Gale's presence, the United skipper. Who's playing a blinder today. Hurst possibly a little bit frustrated that he's not seen much of the ball. But certainly nothing malicious in it. He was on the blind side, he didn't see Gale coming, but he's still going to pick up a booking from referee Steve Lodge of Barnsley. And Gale looking pretty shaken up there, attended to by Derek French. United's physio, and I should think Dave Bassett hoping that Gale will be able to continue. There's his left boot, didn't see Gale, and very strong in the head. But he really didn't mean to do it, I'm positive of that. And there's the damage, a very badly bruised left eye, and he looks very shaken up. Whether it's concussion or not as bad as that remains to be seen, but 
Derek French, the man on the job, attending to him. And anxious moments for United, especially with the impact Gale's made. He's played possibly his best performance for the Blades since joining from Ipswich for £700,000. But he seems to be OK to carry on. The referee attending to him. In goes the mouth guard and back to the battleground. So Gale fit to continue. Hurst genuinely concerned there. So free kick to United, taken by Pemberton. Over to the left-hand side. And Danny Wilson beating two United players to the ball. Wednesday, though, not much cohesion in the break, not much direction to it. And United build up again down the left-hand side. Tom Cowan with the throw. Short there for Bryson. Gannon, Cowan again. Beaten by Palmer, dispossessed. Here's Hurst. Hurst with space now to attack for the first time in the game. Moves into the middle of the park, cuts inside. Maybe try a right foot shot. Good tackle by Beasley. Hurst really threatening there. And the danger not cleared now with King. Worthington left-hand side, well policed by Pemberton. And Pemberton having to concede a corner. Wednesday doing well there, Hurst getting space for the first time in the match. Attacking it beautifully, but not able to get the shot in. Paul Beasley with the challenge. Danny Wilson takes the corner, drives it in, not a good one. Headed clear by Bryson, but it drops for Sheridan. Sheridan in search of Wilson again, but he's blatantly offside and nowhere near the ball. So United breathe again, sigh of relief. They're able to clear the danger. Simon Tracy, huge clearance in search of Dean. Dean wins it well. Bryson flicks it on for Bradshaw. Bradshaw attacks the byline. Good challenge from King. King saw him coming, and he gets the vote for the throw-in. Sheffield Wednesday, though, not flowing early on in the game. United happy to play it at their pace at the moment. And certainly a very even battle. But you just get the impression that Wednesday aren't flowing in the beautiful way they'd love to do so. And play free-flowing football. Well, here they might do so now with Williams. Williams moves into the box, left foot cross across the face of goal and Tom Cowan the man who temporarily clears the danger anyway it's gone out for a corner but that's exactly what United needed because Williams there was definitely threatening moved in behind Beasley got in a left foot cross and Tom Cowan good defensive header Worthing towards the centre of the goal and great challenge there from Tracy Good claim from him, totally unruffled, ice cool, and the score remains nil-nil at Bramall Lane. First derby match in Sheffield between these two clubs for 11 years, and really the size of the occasion is mirrored by the total commitment of both sets of supporters, really an amazing atmosphere. Here's Brian Dean, struggling for possession there and brought down from Carlton Palmer, Good position here for Sheffield United. Free kick. It's just outside the Wednesday box. And they're taken quickly. Bradshaw flicks it on. Hoyland beaten in the air by Anderson. Gannon. Good ball out wide for Bryson. Offside given though. Dane Whitehouse in fact the man there getting free on the left hand side. But offside given just inside the box. And Wednesday able to breathe a sigh of relief and get the ball clear with Chris Woods Woods not looked at his most confident today particularly in goal kicking but that's a good one one in the air by Cowan twice in fact Bryson Bryson helps it on towards D but Warhurst got the pace or has he in fact he's challenged very strongly from behind by Dean and Dean was causing all sorts of problems there Warhurst looked Totally cool at first, but then stumbled somewhat. Dean put in the challenge, and free kick given. But 
Dean certainly putting himself about. It's the old Dean, he's had glandular fever. There were a few doubts about whether he'd be able to cope with this sort of an atmosphere. But he's come out all guns are blazing. And Sheffield United really do look confident. Another good challenge from Tom Cowan. He's so good in the air. He's a small man, but he's got an excellent jump on him. And there he beats David Hurst. Nielsen quickly in again for Hurst. But his flick on, going astray. And into the safe hands of Simon Tracy. Tracy, good goal kick. Dean gets the flick on. United causing havoc there with Jamie Hoyland. And Sheridan having to pass it back to Chris Woods when Ian Bryson was lurking. It was the last thing he wanted to do. But certainly Dean and Hoyland causing more problems for Wednesday there. United just with the edge. And another free kick for them. John Gannon and John Pemberton over the ball. Gannon striking it first time. Dean beaten in the air by Anderson. Steaming in there goes Gannon again, but cleared temporarily by Wednesday. Beasley back in. Palmer this time the man to get it clear. And Brian Gale forced to get it back to Tracy once again. But since the injury, it looks to have a pretty serious injury on his eye. Very bruised and rather cut. But he's coped pretty well since then. Looks shaken up but totally committed to his team's cause. Pemberton, good ball in search of Bradshaw, but Warhurst shadowing it back for Woods. Woods, good throw by him. But United there, first of the ball again. They seem to be first of the ball more often than Wednesday at the moment, certainly in the midfield. And Bryson just caught offside. But Bryson again giving 100%. Never get anything less from him. He really is a man that deserves to be playing in the first division. With Trevor Francis. Wednesday player manager not in the side today. And looking far from happy with the situation. Jamie Hoyland clearly reveling in the situation. Totally committed, and Hoyland's have never lost in a Sheffield derby. His dad played around 200 games for Sheffield United, never lost. And Hoyland really looking to extend that record this afternoon. Brian Dean there, just possibly struggling a little bit, but certainly he's looked a tower of strength. He's led his side in every way possible. He's looked totally strong. Certainly not like a man from glandular fever. But there the pace just possibly catching up with him a little bit. And in steams Dane Whitehouse. Again United causing problems. Chris Woods again the busiest of the two goalkeepers. Paul Beasley good headed clearance. Helped on by Bradshaw. And now Dean over his head to Bryson. Bryson back for Dean. Linking up well but Phil King first to the ball. And cushions it back for Chris Woods. Good play from King. Beasley beaten in the air, this time by Williams. Hurst in search of Palmer. Palmer driving forward, looks for Worthington, left-hand side. Worthington, good cross for Hurst. Hurst well policed by Cowan, though. And the ball running out. Regardless for a Sheffield United goal kick. Danny Wilson driving his teammates forward, really looking to provide some inspiration this afternoon. Nil-nil so far, the derby match at Bramall Lane. And Sheffield United possibly with the edge at this moment in time. Midway inside the first half. Long clearance there from Simon Tracy. Dean flicks it on again. He's done it countless times. Finds Bradshaw. Bradshaw, good control in the bicycle shorts, drives in across near post. 
but Chris Woods happy to handle that and a great throw out there for Wilson Wilson though just losing possession to Dane Whitehouse Brian Dean good challenge there and on the blind side of Sheridan caught in possession and Viv Anderson having to square the ball back for Woods again in quite a few stoppages the goalkeepers have seen a lot of the ball so far Woods certainly the busiest in terms of shot stopping and Brian Dean just a fraction offside there again Free kick taken by captain Viv Anderson. Anderson, good old pro, what a career he's had. With Forrest, with Arsenal, and of course Manchester United. Now playing his career to an end with Sheffield Wednesday. And priceless to them. All last season in the promotion build-up. And certainly this season, a more than capable stand-in for Nigel Pearson. Carlton Palmer there, just keeping the ball in. Cowan, Bryson heading it on the floor, Hoyland, good ball there in search of Bradshaw, but Phil King, easy for him, and Woods will in turn find Paul Warhurst, back for Woods again, and happy to slow things down a little bit Wednesday, totally frantic so far, both teams settling down in fact at this moment. Pemberton, good play there, totally misleads Worthington and a fine crossfield ball for Whitehouse but great challenge from Nielsen, Cowan though, back out for Bryson, Bryson looks to turn inside, does so, but Carlton Palmer forces him to concede a throw, Bryson though, quickly taken for Whitehouse, Whitehouse looking to force a corner here maybe, does it very professionally and in front of the cop end, could be a good time here for Sheffield United. Definitely looking to strike. Carl Bradshaw's gone over to take it. Towards the near post, Woods is struggling. In goes Dean. And Phil King getting the ball over the bar via Chris Woods. Well, that was desperately lucky that it wasn't an own goal because Chris Woods really was struggling he's totally shaken up by that challenge but there was nothing foul about it in he goes there, totally misses the punch Brian Dean wins the header King off the line and it hit Woods on the back of the head and goes over the bar Brian Dean cannot believe it well the man that's come back from glandular fever close to scoring the first goal in this match Carlton Palmer early on hitting the bar for Wednesday but possibly even closer there, Brian Dean. Phil King and Chris Woods contriving to keep him away, putting it over the bar. But another corner for United. So clearly here the pressure's on, it's in front of the cop end. A few words of wisdom from Wednesday's physio, Alan Smith. And Woods signals that he's OK. But he wouldn't exactly inspire me with confidence in that state certainly looks very shaken up indeed and Brian Gale almost the same earlier on Gannon quickly takes it Beasley was steaming in but in went Warhurst Warhurst winning the header but it's another corner for Sheffield United third on the trot and here they're turning the screw Bradshaw again scurries over the left hand side to take it in towards the near post, won by Worthington, disappointing in the end. And Carlton Palmer looking to find Williams, slips over. A few players have done that early on. He says it was because it was in the wrong position. Possibly a little bit dewy of the pitch, it's in excellent condition. But an early kick-off, of course, possibly makes it a little bit of excess dew still lying out there. Promising build-up here for Wednesday, Wilson finds Sheridan. Sheridan. Well, in fact, that's gone nowhere, and Paul Beasley 
Happy to find Simon Tracy in the United goal mouth. But Woods recovered now, looks OK, but he really did look shaken by that challenge. And very fortunate not to concede an own goal. And United could have been one up. They could be here, Brad, Bradshaw across the face of goal. Dean wins the header. And Woods again having to be alert. Bradshaw pumping it in deep and Brian Dean winning the header against two yellow shirts. Wednesday in their away strip this afternoon. But no real beef behind it. And Woods able to save quite comfortably in the end. Brian Gale, another inspirational touch from him, led by example. Brian Dean gets in on the blind side of Warhurst. But a fine challenge there, a fine fighting challenge from Vivian Anderson. As Dane Whitehouse looks on, Chris Woods with the ball safely in his hands again. He'll be grateful for that. Great challenge there from Gale. In goes Bryson. But Worthington steps into the aid of Carlton Palmer. Warhurst back for Worthington. And now King. King up the left-hand side. Good control from Palmer. Took it brilliantly on the chest. Sheridan. Good ball for Williams. Williams cuts inside. Right foot shot. Just wide. But that's the sort of thing Wednesday do well and have to do more of in this match if they're to unruffle Sheffield United, who so far are having the majority of the pressure. They're looking the more lively outfit and they're first to the ball. Certainly at this moment, they look the most likely to score. No more so then when Brian Dean almost gave United the lead. King and Woods clearing it on the line. Bradshaw, good challenge against King. Bryson. Bryson for Dean. Great control on the chest, but Phil King there, good defending. King consistent so far, one of the best Wednesday players. And gets it back for Woods. Woods has seen a lot of the ball. And another clearance. One again by Gale. Free kick against Williams. And Gale eager to take it. But no more than Pemberton because he stepped in and took it eventually. And he found Whitehouse brilliantly in space. Whitehouse almost getting another corner. It's a throw-in, but right on the touchline. And Sheffield United here putting on the pressure, turning up the heat. Whitehouse looking to cross it in. Beaten away there by Nielsen. Good defending that, but Beasley fires it back in again. Whitehouse making good progress down that left flank this afternoon and forces another throw-in for Sheffield United. Cowan looks for support, lobs it in for Gale, flicked on well, Bryson there, cleared by Hurst. Hurst of all people defending and that gives you an indication of which side is putting on the most pressure at this moment. Cowan there, just looking to thread it through for his attackers, but just going astray. Brian Gale, just having to do enough there as Williams is breathing down his neck. Anderson, good challenge, but drops kindly for Pemberton. Pemberton struggles a bit, but now looks for Bradshaw. But he won't make it, it'll run out of touch uh, for a Wednesday goal kick. Gale half winning the clearance, Pemberton there, but... Just a little bit too strong, ironic cheers from the Wednesdayites who feel the referees not been as fair as they would have wished. Certainly that was a very strong challenge indeed from Pemberton on Worthington. Worthington booked earlier on for a bit of a rash challenge on Bradshaw, but this is where Wednesday are desperately dangerous. Sheridan can deliver these with extreme accuracy. He's totally pinpoint from this position. And from the left-hand side, plays it in short for Hurst. Good flick on, Williams is steaming in there. And Hoyland would, well, he had to do very well there to get Simon Tracy to come and collect the ball. 
Hoyland doing a good job back in defence there, the midfield dynamo for Sheffield United. And Tracy clearing it immediately. Brian Dean again, causing Wednesday all sorts of trouble. Pemberton down the line again for Dean. And Dean the man this afternoon. And he gets another throw in for the Blades. Pemberton's come forward to take it. It could be a long one. Propelled into the Wednesday area. It is. It's in search of Dean, but easy for King. And King and Worthington getting it clear. Only as far as Gale. Sheridan miscontrolling it. Gannon. And now Dean. Dean holding it up professionally. Looks for Bradshaw. Good challenge from Carlton Palmer. And he strides away with the ball characteristically. Crossfield for Wilson. Wilson through there for Williams. Whitehouse is tackling back. Good challenge. And it'll be a throw in for Sheffield Wednesday. Or has he given a free kick? In fact, I think he has. Yeah, free kick to Sheffield Wednesday. Looked to be a fair challenge to me from Dane Whitehouse. Very good fighting back there as Paul Williams raced away down the right-hand side. The referee reading it as a tackle from behind. Free kick to Wednesday. Another dangerous position. Sheridan and Worthington. Worthington the man to take it. Far post. Hurst in on the blind side there. And Simon Tracy all at sea. But eventually it was just too far for Hurst. And Tracy will be happy to take the goal kick. Because he knows that Nigel Worthington there delivered that very well. And Tracy struggling a little bit there over his head. And Hurst almost stealing in. Eventually a goal kick. Well, Liam Bryson and Viv Anderson jostling for possession. Anderson winning out in the end and gets the free kick for his rewards. Good header from Beasley there. Good solid clearance. Sheridan though. Lofts it back over the top. This time Gale gets in the challenge. Gannon in search of Bradshaw. Out for a Wednesday throw. Returned very kindly by Jeff Taylor to Phil King. Jeff Taylor, the assistant United boss. And Phil King takes it down the line. What again by Brian Gale. So dominant this afternoon. A lot of praise for him. Ian Bryson turning it into the path of Dean. But Warhurst there first. And he spreads it away on the right for Nielsen to chase. Nielsen making good progress, but intercepted by Cowan. Cowan, great chip ball for Dean to chase. Dean striding away left-hand side. Tackled eventually by Sheridan. Drops again for Dean. Dean tries his luck from 25 yards. Chris Woods down to his right. But Dean with the confidence to have a go. He's United's big lethal weapon this afternoon. And that was another characteristic effort from Brian Dean. Valued at £2.5 million. Lost his big strike partner, Agana, in midweek. But certainly performing extremely competently in, in Agana's absence. Dean, the danger man. Phil King aware of that and he's certainly well policed everybody today King possibly the pick of the Wednesday players so far in this first half offside yet yeah. clear decision there and Paul Williams has the tail back to the centre spot offside given a little bit of a stop start game at times but you get the impression that United are happier playing this type of game than Wednesday are and certainly if Brian Dean gets a sniff at goal, you feel they could be very threatening indeed. Hurston Williams not seen much of the ball this afternoon. And that's certainly... Certainly a very fine factor indeed, because if you can snuff out Hurst, you've got a good chance of snuffing out Wednesday, and that's what United are looking to do this afternoon. And so far they've done it, and they've done it very professionally indeed. Gale and Beasley 
you can't praise them enough. They've won everything in the air. They've looked very competent on the deck. King, free kick for Wednesday, won by Gale again. Hoyland, high kicking on Sheridan, referee saw nothing wrong. Palmer out wide for Nielsen. Sheridan, threading it through there, but Beasley first to the ball. Wilson not happy with Sheridan's pass. And Sheridan really not able to dictate the play as he loves to do today. Disappointing from him. And most of the Wednesday players hassled too much by United haven't been allowed to play that's the key factor I think Roland Nielsen good throw in along the deck for Williams good turn but in steps Cowan again and that's been the story so far in this first half United doing everything they can to prevent the silky skills of Wednesday Tom Cowan looking in absolute agony there, having a bit of trouble with his knee, attended by United's physio Derek French, who's been very busy, came on to see to Brian Gale's injured eye. And Cowan, yes, clearly shaken up. We won't attempt to lip read him there. But he's moved back into the penalty box and Wednesday take the throw. In. Palmer takes it on the chest very well. Cowan, the man, just injured there. And not happy with Carlton Palmer's challenge, forcing a corner. Ian Bryson coming in, acting as a mediator. But it's a corner for Wednesday, that's the upshot of it all. And United having a bit of defending to do here. Worthington gives the signal. Could be a short one, it is. But he receives it quickly back and drives it in again. And I think that could be another Wednesday corner. It took a number of deflections. And in fact, free kick for handball. Yeah, I thought uh, it seemed as though Bradshaw had got a little bit of a touch to it, and Worthington will take it again. Left footed again, a little bit closer than the corner flag. Won by Pemberton, and Gannon lofts it up in the air. Sheridan and Warhurst collide. John Gannon again. Good ball over the top. Bryson's through. Bryson's clean through here. Woods makes the save. But here's Dane Whitehouse. It's 1-0 to Sheffield United. They've taken the lead in this derby match. That's the goal they've been praying for. And my word, what a moment for Dane Whitehouse. From the manor, Sheffield born, a Unitedite. That's magic. There it was. Gannon lofting that ball beautifully over the top for Bryson. He went on the rampage. And as Woods advanced, he fired in the shot. Good save initially from Woods. But Whitehouse following in quicker than Viv Anderson. The lead is to the Blades, it's Sheffield United 1, Sheffield Wednesday nil in first half injury time and two minutes on my watch into first half injury time. Well, a dejected Paul Williams and David Hurst will kick off for Sheffield Wednesday, a goal down. And that's not the stuffing out of the Owls bench and no doubt the rest of the team and Bramall Lane is a scene of jubilation if you're a Unitedite and most of them are Paul Beasley hacking it away there United the last thing they want to do is concede an equaliser they just want to get into the dugout and have their half-time cup of tea they can have it now the referee blows his half-time whistle a frantic derby match, United more suited to it than Wednesday in the first half. Solid in defence, good in attack. That's the scene at half-time. United won, Wednesday nil. United looking to press home that advantage. You couldn't ask for more than that. Dane Whitehouse, born in the manor. Sheffield lad through and through. United as well. One of three in the Blades side, of course, Jamie Hoyland and Carl Bradshaw. And scoring in front of the cop against Wednesday in a heated derby match two minutes into first half injury time tremendous for him tremendous for United a professional first half performance I think sums it up 
and Wednesday know they've got their hands full here at Bramall Lane. United with only two victories to their credit all season, but really now all guns are blazing and looking to crush their rivals. Sheffield Wednesday leading 1-0 and just a couple of moments into the second half. Well, the high noon showdown so far living up to its expectations. A frantic game and really United controlling it, playing it at their own pace at the moment. Wednesday, I have to say, not flowing in the mould that they usually love to do so. And United have restricted them, not allowed them to play. Sheridan might change that. Good ball over the top for Williams. But again, Gale, so consistent in defence. Palmer with the header. Sheridan beats Hoyland. Drops for Wilson. Hoyland with a high foot there. Free kick to Sheffield Wednesday taken just inside the blades half but Hoyland a happy man so far Sheridan though an angry young man and certainly now Wednesday looking to strike can they conjure something here Sheridan flicked on by Anderson but an infringement spotted and once again the Sheffield United goal is not threatened Simon Tracy stands firm and Viv Anderson moves back to a defensive position. Tracy another huge kick. Dean again with a challenge but Anderson doing very well to win the header. Well, movement from the Owls bench. There's John Harks and Nigel Jemson nearest to us, but there's Harks, the American, out with injury for a period this season while he's warming up, looking as though there could be some movement. Meantime, Sheridan to Wilson. But again, in steps Tommy Cowan. Cowan a bargain buy at 300,000. He's totally consistent. Uh, no more so than today, but here's Palmer stepping in. Palmer, long-range effort, blocked by Beasley, flicked on by Cowan. And Bryson, Bryson nowhere to go. Needs an ally, get one from Cowan. He was in no man's land for a moment. Cowan stepped into his assistance. And Bryson got the clearance, but it's only as far as Warhurst. Warhurst running forward, pressing down that left-hand side. Late challenge there, free kick spotted by the referee. And Paul Warhurst not able to make the impact that he usually does. Good, strong forward runs. He did for a moment there, but he was stopped in his tracks at the expense of a free kick to Sheffield Wednesday. John Sheridan's gone to take it. Sheridan, right-footed. Midway inside the blades half, curled in. Palmer gets in there. Cowan misses a header. And Viv Anderson caught offside as Danny Wilson found him in the clear. So another Wednesday attack breaks down with the captain, Viv Anderson. Wednesday struggling at the moment but certainly recreating more although United happy with the situation so far 1-0 ahead and they're keeping their composure in the Sheffield Derby game Tracy supported by the cop dead behind him another long clearance Anderson strong header equally strong from Gale that went like a bullet Warhurst a little bit of a risky back pass but Chris Woods raced out of his goal before Ian Bryson could even think about intercepting it. Woods instructing his team to move forward more. They're doing that now with King. King, but that's nowhere. And Simon Tracy gladly intercepts that pass that was always going astray. And Sheffield United again. Their goal is not threatened. Tracy with the clearance. Down the right-hand side. Bradshaw beaten by King. Hoyland back for Dean. Dean's out on the right wing. Skips over one challenge from King. And from Warhurst. But Warhurst eventually putting Dean into touch. 
but he's happy with that situation as I'm sure you can see from that gesture and Sheffield United have a throw in taken by John Pemberton long throw merchant and it is a long one but not as long as Dean and Phil King promptly knocks it back for Pemberton Pemberton goes past Worthington fires in the cross low Hoyland picks up the loose ball looks for support gets it from Pemberton left footed cross Sheridan away and Paul Williams wins a free kick for Sheffield Wednesday in fact it's going to be a throw in taken by Phil King King very impressive but not linking with Worthington as well as he usually does but certainly possibly you could single him out as the best Wednesday player so far he really hasn't put a foot wrong but he just hasn't gelled with Worthington in the usual vein Chris Woods that's a long clearance Brian Gale though once again reliable in defense John Gannon lending a helping hand and Tommy Cowan pumping the ball away from the danger zone Carlton Palmer though wise decision to find Wilson Wilson 1-2 with with David Hurst and free kick in a very advantageous position for the Owls here just outside the United box and this could be the moment of magic they need to turn this game round so United's wall carefully formed and instructed by Simon Tracy Paul Williams has joined it and there are four Wednesday players around the ball Wilson Sheridan not surprisingly of course free kick specialist one crackerjack against Luton earlier in the season to snatch a point for Wednesday and David Hurst Worthington's there as well well maybe Hurst fancies his chances of a left footer it is Hurst comes straight back off the wall Hurst again and for a moment he threatened Tracy and the United goalkeeper ending up in the net but Hurst's effort just a shade wider the United post came back off the wall but he cracked it in again but the England striker not able to break the deadlock as far as Wednesday are concerned there's still a goal down came back off the wall off Bradshaw there and he tried to chip Tracy but it was just wide and ending up into the grateful arms of the Sheffield United cop turns defence into attack but Whitehouse is there again so fired up and this lad is clearly making a huge impact he scored the only goal of the game so far and he really is racing around the pitch great challenge there on Wilson and the throw in United's way Tom Cowan goes down the safety route left hand side but it may turn into a disaster for United here as Wednesday break through the middle with Sheridan Sheridan to Williams Williams is beaten to the ball by Brian Gale Brian Gale tremendous performance from him and another fine challenge getting the ball back to Simon Tracy but an infringement spotted off the ball and the referee taking the name of John Gannon he's clearly not happy with the decision a few protests there from the Blades camp but as Wednesday went through there Gale got the clearance but Gannon was pulling a shirt and the referee not letting it go another free kick for Wednesday in the space of a couple of minutes and this one also just outside the box Hurst with the first just wide could be Sheridan this time looking to make his mark on this derby game the first for 11 years in Sheffield Worthington is with the crack but it comes straight back off the wall, the wall doing its job. Worthington could only rifle it straight into the wall. And United's defenders clearing it easily. A moment of respite for both sides, but Sheridan quickly getting the ball back into the danger zone. Williams can do nothing with that, and Paul Beasley 
find Simon Tracy with ease. Tracy, another clearance and chaos in the Wednesday defence again at sixes and sevens. And Paul Warhurst, the man who eventually finds Woods. But that was again a threat to the Wednesday defence. It's looked shaky at times today. Certainly when Simon Tracy pumps his huge, enormous clearances up the park. Wednesday really do look vulnerable. And that was no exception. United's captain leading by example Brian Gale hasn't put a foot wrong long clearance deems it free in the box and in goes the header but no real power behind it to beat Woods again but that was another situation Dean causing problems he was almost unmarked but at the other end now Brian Gale having to do some marking beaten to the ball by Car Palmer Hurst back for Worthington out for Palmer great running from Palmer in towards Hurst, Whitehouse with the challenge, drops for Williams, Williams beats his man, chance here for Wednesday, squares it for Wilson, and Simon Tracy getting the touch wide. Well, breathtaking, because it looked as though Williams had done all the hard work, as Palmer was doing some excellent running all across the box, and there he delivers the cross. Hurst finds Williams, Williams beats his man, and I thought there he might shoot but he was so unselfish, he found Wilson, and however much Tracy knew about it, he put it out for United. Well, in fact, it's a Wednesday corner, and Wednesday there, quite unfortunate not to get back on level terms. Simon Tracy with a breathtaking save. I'm not sure whether he knew everything about that, he just threw his body at the ball and got the touch wide, but a succession of corners for the Owls. Tracy again forced to punch, and Whitehouse eventually clearing in the danger so United put under pressure now can they last Worthington into the box Dean with the header and Paul Beasley hacking it away Warhurst though back into the danger zone Bradshaw takes it under control and Simon Tracy has the ball once again So Tracy put under pressure for the first time in the match, having to make a great save there from Danny Wilson as Williams broke away. Uh, I thought he might try his shot himself, but he was so unselfish, squared it for Wilson, and Tracy made a vital save. Worthington there, the man receiving treatment from Wednesday physio Alan Smith. And quite a few players have needed treatment in this match. It's been a bit stop-start at times. Staccato in character. And that's why John Pemberton attempting a scissor kick and just catching Nigel Worthington. But again, no intent in it at all. There is a precaution, or maybe not, Nigel Jemson's warming up. And looks as though he could definitely play some part in this match. He's stripping off now. And there's Trevor Francis. Words of wisdom from the man that's seen it all. Trevor Francis, Wednesday's player manager, instructing Jemson what it's required of him. Of course, in recent weeks, he really has been the hero at Hillsborough, no more so than when the Owls beat Manchester United. He got two goals when he came on as a sub, so United aware of him as Simon Tracy takes the free kick. Lofts the clearance, Dean gets the flick on, but Phil King again turns it back for Chris Woods. Jamie Hoyland, good play from him, but Bryson, the man, just caught a fraction offside as Hoyland chipped it through in search of him. And Worthington looks to be struggling a little bit. And that's possibly one of the reasons why he's brought off the pitch. And on comes Nigel Jemson, a midfielder off, an attacker on. So Wednesday clearly feeling now that they've got to throw caution to the wind bring on Nigel Jemson, 800,000 from Notts Forest, made a big impact in recent weeks and he'll slot into a centre-forward position 
along with Williams and Hurst. And a free kick for Wednesday. Straight channel down this right-hand side. Whitehouse having to be defensive, but Nielsen takes it under control. Finds Palmer, edge of the box. Skips around two or three challenges. Cowan can't get it clear. Maybe he can this time. And Dean might turn just inside the touchline. Well, just loses out, and it's going to be a Wednesday throw-in. Nielsen down the right-hand side. Flicked on by Palmer. Cowan making a bit of a hash of that. Hurst not able to do any better. And it's shielded all the way back for Simon Tracy. United leading 1-0 in the derby game. And I should think very happy with the way things are going so far. Simon Tracy with only one save to make. Beasley there, good header in search of Bradshaw. Bradshaw back to the attacking Pemberton. Good forward run from him, but stopped in his tracks by King. And then Sheridan takes over. Sheridan for Wilson. Danny Wilson, middle of the park. Spreads it out wide. Good ball there for Jemson to chase. But shielded well by Cameron, who loses out on the decision. And it'll be a Wednesday throw. Jemson making an early contribution after being brought on in place of Nigel Worthington Worthington of course booked early on but this is where Wednesday could begin to be dangerous 1-0 down smarting from that early goal by Whitehouse Nielsen and there is throwing flicked on but again nobody on the end of it easy for Simon Tracy Tracy looks for Dean once more, beaten by Anderson this time, but again he gets in. Dean a ball over the top, but offside given against Dane Whitehouse. Sheffield Wednesday clearly feeling they need to do something very quickly in this match. A goal down to United. Haven't threatened the Blades goal for much of the match. Only really had one significant shot on target as Paul Williams races through again, Nigel Jemson, the substitute, steaming in on the action, in at the near post and just wide. He has one shot really that totally threatened Wednesday, and that was the effort from Danny Wilson, which Simon Tracy got in the way of somehow. And of course, earlier on in the first half, Carlton Palmer crashing a shot that came off the bar. Other than that, Wednesday have been a little bit of a non-entity in attack. Sheffield United totally happy to play them at their own game this afternoon. Simon Tracy with another long goal kick for the Blades. Phil King winning it again, dominantly. But Jamie Hoyland picking up the loose ball, finds Dean. Dean, well, look for the one-two with Hoyland, but he stumbled over and allowed Paul Warhurst to step in. Palmer, here's Nielsen. And Nielsen's ball again going astray. Gale with the challenge, drops for Williams. Williams taken from behind White Whitehouse, another challenge again, Palmer takes up the tackle and Palmer brought down there by Tom Cowan and he's uh, over injured just below the corner flag and I think the referee, well he's going to pull Cowan over and book him well I'm not sure whether that was deserved or not, Tommy Cowan first class performance yet again it's what United have come to expect of him this season picks up a yellow card there Again, no real intent, it's been a match in good spirits. And Palmer failing to ride the challenge. There was Whitehouse, good tackle from him. And on the second attempt, Palmer takes up the ball there, but in comes Cowan. Doesn't play the ball, but he's just a little bit late. And Carlton Palmer brought down just below the corner spot. And not in such a good way either. Hobbling his way to the area, but able to continue. Free kick to Wednesday. So United have to defend for a moment. It'll be floated over by Phil King, left-footed towards the centre of the goal. Viv Anderson there with the header. Corner given. Anderson the man with the late challenge there in the box. Good effort. And forces a corner to Sheffield Wednesday. 
So good spell here for the Alps, right in front of the Blades cop. Phil King again, this time way over to the far post and Simon Tracy, superb play. He's commanded that area beautifully all afternoon and that was another instance where he really committed himself and carried it on. Total commitment, excellent save, great claim. And in the process he's picked up a bit of a knock. So has Nigel Jemson, he looks a bit jaded to say the least. But there he is Tracy, comes for it, perfect timing, lovely jump, snatches it away from Viv Anderson, but then fell awkwardly. And both physios working within a yard of each other, Derek French busy with Simon Tracy and Alan Smith attending to Nigel Jemson. Meantime the referee is having a word with several United players because it appears as though he's given a corner for some reason. That's the decision, referee Steve Lodgers Barnsley is given a corner, Brian Dean far from happy with that and so are the rest of the United players but they can't do much about it. Corner's been given to Wednesday. And that will be when the physios are off the pitch and Jemson and Tracy are able to continue. Tracy seems to be fine. Nigel Jemson's there still clutching his face. Doesn't look too confident at all at the moment, but he well, manages to get back on his feet. And in fact, he is OK to continue. Another corner for Wednesday. And Sheridan will be the man to go over to take it. So Wednesday losing 1-0 in this derby game. Not able to click at the moment into their rhythm. And Sheridan doesn't look too convinced that it's a corner even. Shrugging his shoulders. And the linesman's over there. He also seems a little bit unsure of the situation. And in fact, Sheridan cheered from the crowd doing the sporting thing. Goal kick to Sheffield United. So all a bit of a farce. But at the end of the day, United still lead 1-0. Deservedly so. And it'll be a goal kick for them. Simon Tracy carrying the ball outside his area. Right foot clearance. Beautifully knocked on by Dean. And then Bradshaw trying to link up with Bryson. Not quite coming off. And Viv Anderson screaming at his defence. Wednesday really have to be more urgent. Paul Beasley with the header there. Good defensive header. And United, good situation for them now. Bradshaw out towards Bryson. Bryson right-hand side. Good time challenge there from Paul Warhurst. But still a throw into the blades. Taken on the chest by Pemberton. Drills it in low. Intercepted by Warhurst, but he's dispossessed by Gannon. Gannon back for Bryson, left foot cross, not a good one. And Carlton Palmer clears it up, finds Chris Woods. Brian Gale. Another forceful challenge, flipped on by Bradshaw, here's Bryson, Bradshaw's continued his run, and so has Hoyland, Hoyland's gone down that right hand side, good effort from him, but in the end Anderson able to find Woods again, United totally happy with this situation though, leading 1-0, it's been nothing less than a totally professional performance from them, but here Hurst causing problems, jinx inside, right foot shot, Simon Tracy equal to it, in the end, the shot was a disappointment. Good effort to get in position. Here moves inside Brian Gale onto his right foot. Just on the edge of the box, fires in the shot, right-footed. But Tracy totally in behind it. And Hurst still not able to make an impression on this game. Another substitution by Wednesday. Jemson's already on, and now Harks is going to come on in place of Danny Wilson. So the American really is capable of true first division flair and Wednesday need him to be now in the closing stages and in fact Harks moving back to the bench um, the position not right for him to come on yet puts the sweater back on 
And Paul Warhurst still receiving treatment from Alan Smith, the Wednesday physio. And in fact, he seems to be OK to continue now. United straight back on with the action. Hoyland, good position to cross it in now. And finds Whitehouse, good dipping header. And Woods had to be on his toes because Whitehouse threatened to get a second there. Good header there from this lad who got the first goal, Dane Whitehouse. And quickly taken corner, Gales causing trouble, Dean! Dean turns in the box, fires in the shot, 2-0 to United. And Dean celebrates because they said he didn't have a prayer. He comes back from glandular fever and not only does he make a brilliant performance, he scores the second goal and what could prove to be the killer. Brian Dean swivelling in the box, totally agile, turning his man and firing in the shot, left-footed. And I think it went through the legs of 1.2 million Chris Woods. There it is, Brian Dean, left foot shot, and Bryson jumping over it. Woods as well, letting it through the legs. Sheffield United 2, Sheffield Wednesday 0. The derby match has now reached its climax. United edge further ahead. They've played 100%. They've given all they've got. They've done everything they can to unsettle Wednesday and it's paid off, 2-0, totally deserved. John Harks, the substitute, leaving the ball for Nielsen. Short for Palmer. Palmer trying to turn and getting the cross, does it brilliantly, and Gale gets the header. So does Bradshaw, but it'll drop for Jemson, for King now. King shadowed by Hoyland, finds Sheridan, but Gannon's in there, jostling for possession, and wins it in the end. Good clearance, but Chris Woods has no problems in finding Nielsen. Nielsen mounts another attack for Wednesday. Jemson flick on, Hurst almost getting in, but Beasley was there first. Sheridan back for King, King falling in the box and losing possession. Simon Tracy gladly receiving the ball. Sheffield United two goals ahead. Long kick from Tracy. Bryson beaten in the air by Warhurst. Well controlled by Gannon. Out for Hoyland. Hoyland along the deck for Bryson. Good cross coming in there from Pemberton. Woods in trouble again from Dean. And Viv Anderson clearing the danger. Brian Dean, the danger man, causing havoc once more. Chris Woods again looking very unsure of himself. As Cowan whips it into the danger zone again, Woods calls for treatment. And the ball's out for another corner. Sheffield United, it could have been three there. The cross coming in. Hoyland, good ball along the deck for Bryson. He held it up well. And left it again for Hoyland. Good first time cross. And Brian Dean up there, good challenge. Chris Woods struggling, and Viv Anderson saving the day. So Alan Smith on the pitch again. And smearing Vaseline over the right eye of shaken up England goalkeeper Chris Woods. Another corner for United, Bradshaw and Gannon. Bradshaw to the far post, Dean's up there and back in the danger zone. Cleared by Warhurst and the shot came in from Dane Whitehouse and it went like a rocket launcher. Left foot effort and it really was a cracker. Cleared off the line by Phil King. Warhurst clearing it and bang, cannonball of an effort from Whitehouse. And was that a hand from Phil King? Well, certainly Brian Gale thought so. But as it is, the score remains 2-0. That could have been a let-off for Wednesday. It appeared to me as if Phil King had stuck out his right hand and saved that. So Dane Whitehouse, yet another effort from him. He really has made a huge impact on this game. He's had a hand in two of the goals. And the third, he almost got a third. With that rifle shot. For the moment, United having to do some defending here. With Carl Bradshaw, safe as houses conceding a corner and John Sheridan racing over to take it 
Wednesday, two down. Trailing United. Sheridan to the near post. Gale clears, drops for Hurst. Gannon gets it rid of it. Nielsen back in though, into the box. Anderson tries to turn. But in steps Dane Whitehouse again. And a solid clearance. Sheffield United competent in defence. Unruffled at the moment. Harks finds Williams on the right hand side. Back for Nielsen. Hurst gets up well. Jemson with a shot. But it's bobbling nicely for Simon Tracy. That's the sort of shot that goalkeepers love to be able to handle. No real power in it at all. And thank you very much, says Simon Tracy. Gets the clearance upfield. Whitehouse controls it well again. Tigerish tackle from Williams, but he's kept going well, Dane Whitehouse. And wins the free kick for Sheffield United. Just inside the Wednesday half. Well, every single United player has battled, but no more so than Dane Whitehouse. And lost a boot in the process. His favoured left foot. But he can afford to do so. Must be very happy with his own performance and the team so far. 2-0 up against Wednesday. The first Sheffield derby in 11 years since the 4-0 thrashing at Hillsborough. Woods again having to punch. Gannon getting in there. Free kick given this time. And Woods grateful for it. He really has been put under pressure this afternoon. And Brian Dean, he's going to pick up a booking. I think possibly for dissent, disagreeing with the referee's decision that it was a free kick and Steve Lodge raising the yellow card to Dean another player booked in the derby match Beasley reeling back but gets a good defensive header there from Woods clearance Whitehouse Bryson takes it on the chest left hand side just runs away from him temporarily but he's regained control Fires it in early, comes back for him. Looking for support on the left-hand side. Nielsen shadowing him, gets support from Whitehouse. Whitehouse, good challenge on Sheridan. But the ball will run through kindly for Woods. And Paul Warhurst, his face looking a bit of a mess there. Bloody nose. In the wars today, as is Brian Gale. But again, another bit of sterling work from him. Good back pass for Simon Tracy. Hurst there, terrible ball. Intercepted by Bryson. Good early cross. And Dean was getting free on the far hand side. On the blind side. But Phil King just stealing his way in there. Getting another fine bit of defensive play. King, good performance from him. And David Hurst there jostling with United substitute John Reid to get possession of the ball to take the throw in quickly for Anderson middle of the park finds Sheridan good ball for Hurst is he going to go through now Tracy spreads himself well and surely a late challenge Beasley's not happy with it and again another flare up here it was a late challenge there from David Hurst all 22 players in the United penalty box Tracy there, very brave save by him, spread himself very well and Hurst following through there, perhaps that was a little bit rash on that occasion, just sprung the offside trap you see and losing control of the ball and frustrated possibly whatever but certainly following through on Simon Tracy who was very brave to make that save there. For Brian Gale the United captain instructing his players to hold out these final few minutes United have done the job well so far another free kick for them taken by Simon Tracy David Hurst already with one booking he's going to have to be careful Tracy's clearance doesn't get out of United's half it's won by Nielsen but Gannon hammers the ball straight back into Wednesday territory Chris Woods though quick to get it back in 
And United reeling a little bit in defence here. Gale swinging his boot at the ball. Bradshaw getting a flick on. But Wednesday picking up the loose balls now. Pushing forward much more. King forward for Jemson. Not seeing any of it. Jemson for Sheridan. Sheridan. Lovely little ball for Williams. Williams left foot shot. Fine save Tracy. Well Tracy having to recover from the late challenge of David Hurst. Gets down well to his left. That was one of Wednesday's best efforts from Paul Williams. Cracking left foot drive. Threaded through beautifully by Sheridan. Lovely little ball. But Tracy again equal to it. And this man makes another vital save. Value for money indeed from Wimbledon. But there's the good ball through from Sheridan. Williams onside. Turning well. Good left foot shot. Fine save Tracy. Tracy again, long clearance, Dean's up in the air, beaten to it, but Gannon's not. Bryson, good turn, Dean on the chest, might try the shot, does, good effort. And he's looking to add to the tally of one goal that he's already scored this afternoon. A towering strength for Sheffield United up front this afternoon. Tremendous effort from Brian Dean to recover from glandular fever. And although he doesn't look 100% fit, he looks 99.9%. Really has been a tremendous effort from him. And toiling away again on the right-hand side. Just running out of pitch. It's going to be a Wednesday throw. But Dean's given so much. Proud of his performance he can be. As will all the Unitedites. Jubilant today. Totally ecstatic. Because they've had to live in the shadow of Wednesdayites. Ever since Boxing Day. And really now... They'll feel that they've put the record straight. 2-0 so far at Bramall Lane. And if anybody's looking to add to that scoreline, it's Sheffield United. Good flick on there from Whitehouse. Bryson working tirelessly as usual. And it's gone out for another Wednesday throw-in. Roland Nielsen. Looks very urgent to get on with things, but... John Gannon has the calibre to find Tracy again. And Sheffield United playing out time now. Totally happy with their display. Glad to be 2-0 up against the Owls. And Simon Tracy... Looking now to build up another situation for the Blades. It's a very high kick. Well, Bradshaw just losing out there. Thought he controlled it pretty well, but too close to the touchline. And Phil King gets on with it for Wednesday. Jemson turns. Bradshaw gets a clearing header. Dean takes it on the chest. Moves out to the right-hand side. Back for Bradshaw. Great ball for Bryson. And Bryson dragged down by Warhurst. Is that a professional foul or not? Warhurst clearly been in the wars. And that really was a promising move by Sheffield United. Building up down the right-hand side. Bradshaw, lovely curling ball through for Bryson. He sprung the offside trap. But he was clearly dragged back by Paul Warhurst. Yellow card for him. But on another day, it could have been red. It could have been three. It could have been much worse for Sheffield Wednesday. As it is, free kick for Gannon. Drives it in. Chris Woods. Confidently in behind it. And hurrying into the clearance. But Sheffield United, once again, surge back in defence in numbers. Carlton Palmer, though. He's got three on the left-hand side. Cuts back in. Finds Sheridan. Hurst. Can he find Sheridan again? No. Tries the shot himself. Offside given as well. And David Hurst not made any sort of impact this afternoon. Gale and Beasley. What a performance from them. Tremendous display in defence. Really, Simon Tracy as well. Absolutely responsible for United not conceding. And not really looking like conceding. But they've looked like scoring. Certainly 
And they could be adding to that tally now with Dean. Right hand side, Dean. Good cross for Bryson. And Bryson just miscuing the header. And he's disappointed with himself. And that's the sort of situation that you really would expect Ian Bryson to power home. A good cross, Dean picked him out well. And unlike Bryson to miss a header like that. Simon Tracy, another clean, confident claim. Sheffield United reveling in this atmosphere. Electric. The Blades fans and the attendance just under 32,000. Back to the rafters. Most of them Unitedites have come here to watch their team triumph over the Owls. The old enemy, tremendous performance by United. Beasley. Another good clearance, Dean on the chest, got acres of space, turns and attacks space. United's number 10, skips over one challenge, Bryson steps in. And Hoyland was throwing himself at the ball, launched himself at it. And fortunate for Wednesday that Warhurst got a clearance, but that's it. It's all over and Jamie Hoyland turns round a picture of joy. Dane Whitehouse, the man that scored the first goal. Sheffield United have won the first Derby in Division 1, Sheffield 1, for 23 years. On the day they outplayed Wednesday, their style more suited to this frantic Derby atmosphere. The final score, Sheffield United 2, Sheffield Wednesday 0. Your first game for some time, Brian, after your bout of glandular fever. Were you under some extra pressure on the day? Um, not really. I think the fact that the game was when it was, um, I'd like come back and I thought, well, I've got to give it a go. I've got to start playing sometime. So, you know, why not in this game? Mm -hmm. Can you just talk us through how the goal happened? Basically, it was. A, sh a quick corner, you know, we'd been practicing all week, doing things early, and um, Carl Bradshaw took a quick corner. Brian Gale went up with a couple of their defenders and it bounced in front of me. I just managed to knock it to the side of um, John Sheridan, I think, and um, I just shot for goal. And, like, obviously the rest of, has been well um, publicised about me megging the keeper. The fans are obviously yearning for that first goal. How did it feel to be the one to give them what they wanted? Oh, it was just, just brilliant. I mean, I'm not, I know it wants an hard goal to knock in, but once it come across and I just put it in it, oh, it was just brilliant. I mean, the fans gave me a good reception like when I went up to him and I was just so pleased. I was just so pleased it was me. And has it made a difference to the, the feeling within the team of winning that game? Um, yeah, I think it has because there were a lot of pressure on us from the start with them being up halfway up the league and um, us being at the bottom. And then hearing rumours saying that they're going to walk all over us, they're going to stuff us. So we just had to prove it on a Sunday and we did. There must have been a particular emotional charge in this game for you as a local lad. You know? Yeah, I mean, uh, coming from Sheffield, supporting United all my life, uh, it meant a lot to me Sunday. Uh, I knew we had to beat Wednesday because of like, uh, my family's pride and my friends. So uh, it did mean a lot to me, yeah. It's obviously a great feeling when you, you go ahead in a game like that, but is there also a touch of a fear of, of something going wrong? Well, that's right. I mean, uh, we went 1-0 up at a great time when everybody says it's a good time to score. We came in at half-time, the manager said keep going. But then again, if we'd gone out second half and they'd scored like in the first five minutes, ten minutes, well then it's going to be, you know, uh, the game's back in the balance and who's going to score next is going to win the game probably. There's a sense, isn't there, in which going ahead gives you something to lose? That's right, I mean, it is in a way, but then again, as it worked Sunday, once we got the second, we knew we weren't going to lose. But like, like I said, if it goes to one all, it's in the balance. Mm -hmm. um, so you're obviously a very happy team now. Yeah, very happy indeed, especially the, uh, the lads from Sheffield are uh, very happy indeed. Even the lads, even the London lads, I mean, they, they got involved with it on Sunday and I think it, it came home to them what a Sheffield derby means to win. The pressure leading up to Sunday's game must have been absolutely tremendous. 
Well, quite honestly, I didn't feel it till after the game. I felt uh, reasonably sort of controlled. But after the game, I think the relief of everybody, particularly on United side, was tremendous. And uh, everybody was sort of drained after. I certainly was for a couple of days. Brian Dean's first game after his absence with illness, were you under, felt you were under pressure to put him in that game? No, not really, because we knew when Brian was coming back, this was the game that he was going to come back, whether it had been Sheffield Wednesday or not. We knew he was ready physically to start performing on the first division stage. To say that he would score and play as well as he did, obviously we didn't know, but uh, we know Brian's even capable of playing better than he did in this particular game, but I'm highly delighted with his performance on this occasion. Obviously with Tony Agarna having gone to Notts County, there was a lot of pressure on us in respect of letting Tony go before a derby, but one has to make decisions and we made that decision. Unfortunately for us, uh, Brian Dean came back along with Ian Bryson. They worked as a good unit as a front players last year and hopefully they can continue to do that for us. But having said that, Tony Agarna has been an excellent servant to the club and somebody we surely miss. But you obviously, all clubs have got to take this into consideration when they're considering the financial aspects of the club.